Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Mo uh, Todd with the Developer Show. So your planet still uses streaming video to communicate? Why not just use a mind blork? Huh? Have it your way then. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The Android Developer Summit gave us more exciting announcements than you could shake a fluky at. Highlights include new Jetpack libraries for everything from better performance benchmarking to easier camera implementation, a new Compose UI library for creating beautiful native apps, a new advanced Kotlin course on Udacity, and the first Canary build of Android Studio 4.0. On top of all of that, we have announced the return of the ever-popular Android Developer Challenge. For a full list of everything that was announced, check out the details in the post or watch this top five video from the conference. But, you know, don't watch that one until you're done with this one because I still have more news for you. The Google Maps platform has a new YouTube channel. So if you're interested in building new and innovative products powered by Google Maps and enjoy getting your news in video form, this is a channel that you will want to subscribe to. We'll be sharing tutorials on how to get started with the Maps platform, highlighting interesting customer stories and more. So if you want to say that you were a subscriber to the Maps Platform YouTube channel before it was cool, now's your chance. Links to the channel are in the description below. Chrome 78 is rolling out now. The latest version of Chrome adds support for CSS variables, commonly known as custom properties, an easier way to import fresh service workers, and perhaps the most exciting feature, Origin Trials. Not to be confused with the game Oregon Trail, Origin Trials are a way for you to turn on experimental features for all users on your Origin to check out new prototypes with a larger audience. And the best part is your chances of dying of dysentery are extremely low. To take advantage of the latest features, make sure to check out the details in the post. If you're using Google Cloud's AI platform prediction to serve your machine learning in a serverless environment, Google Cloud now lets you choose from a set of compute engine machine types and add new GPUs to your configuration for faster processing of complex ML models. And if you need help debugging your models, you can log your prediction requests and responses to BigQuery to better analyze your performance. To find out more about these new improvements, as well as other new features for using AI on Google Cloud, make sure to check out all the details in the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I am Todd Kerplin for The Developer Show. Thanks for tuning in. And until next week, Nanu, Nanu. Bork calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Bork calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Orson, where are you, your great somethingness? I don't know. <laughs>